And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Believers, no one group of men should jeer at another who may after all be better than them. And no one group of women should jeer at another who may after all be better than them. Do not speak ill of one another and do not use offensive nicknames for one another. How bad is it to be called a mischief maker after accepting faith? Those who do not repent of this behavior are indeed evildoers. In verse number 11, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala here prohibits us from doing three things. And these three things are things that take place in the presence of believers. So how should believers be dealing with other believers in their presence, face to face? The first one is Allah prohibits us from sukhriya, maskhara, sukhriya. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tells us not to discredit each other. The reason why I say discredit is because linguistically it means to make fun of someone publicly. Not just making fun of someone. It means to make fun of someone publicly in a manner that it undermines their credibility. People lose respect for this person. That is sukhri. So not just making fun of someone. To basically point somebody out in public and make fun of him in a way that everyone thinks less of this person. And this is not allowed. And Allah says why you should not do it? Because they could turn out to be better than you are. You don't know. Nobody knows what's, what's today and what's tomorrow. And then the reality of matters as well, people don't know a lot of times. There's a specific incident. One of the wives of the Prophet والسلام, she was shorter than the other wives of the Prophet Zainab bint Jahsh. She was shorter than the other wives of the Prophet And so one time some of them sort of made a comment or passed some comments about her being short. So like, oh, short one. Tiny over there, little one. And so obviously something nobody would like, nobody would appreciate. So when the Prophet ﷺ came to know about it, he was very angry, he was very displeased. And he reprimanded them. And his verse came down. And the interesting thing is, what does Allah say? Don't do it because they could turn out to be better than you are. When the Prophet ﷺ was about to leave this world, when he was passing away, he said to his family members that the first of my wives to join me in the life of the hereafter will be the one with the longest arms. SubhanAllah. And then they, they lined up. So whose arms longer? Let's see. Get it out. The, let's get out the measuring tape. So they started measuring arms. And it didn't make any sense. The very first of the wives to pass away was Zainab. And that's when they realized, oh, it was a metaphor. Because she was the most generous of the wives of the Prophet So he said it metaphorically that the one that will have the longest arms, mean the one that is the most generous in giving to poor people, will be the first one to meet me in the life of the hereafter. SubhanAllah. Didn't they make fun of her for being short? And that was exactly the point that the Prophet pointed out. Look at the wisdom of the Prophet So this is why, very careful. So especially at the level that it takes place in our communities, with the mean-spiritedness that it takes place with, with the anger and the hatred towards each other, and we sit there and we revel in the misery of each other. Like sit there and watch, it's like a game we're watching. And as soon as something bad happens to him, yes. I mean, we really have to rethink this. Yeah, we have to reevaluate how we behave, how we act. 